Islamabad, the capital of Pakistan, is a class of its own that has preserved its natural beauty, its heritage, and still has made great strides of development and modernization. Islamabad was selected by a commission of experts in 1958 after an extensive study. Its location, climate, proximity, and natural beauty has made it an ideal contender for an ideal capital. The site of the city was not only beautiful, it has a historical significance as well. It goes back to the earliest human habitations in Asia. This area has seen the first settlement of Aryans, ancient caravans passing from Central Asia, and the massive armies of Tamerlane and Alexander. In pursuit of creating an ideal city, an organization as visionary as the capital was born. CDA, Capital Development Authority, was established in June 1960. As an authority, it has the power, duties, functions, and responsibilities for planning and development of the capital. It also performs functions as the sole civic agency for ensuring the well-being of the capital and its inhabitants. It has been more than five decades. The authority has kept its promise and its resolute commitment to its duties and responsibilities. Today, Islamabad is not only one of the best cities of Pakistan, but easily one of the best in the world as well. The witnesses of the very fact are diplomats who have been around the world, overseas Pakistanis who have lived for years in the developed world, journalists who have covered international cities, photographers, artists, tourists, residents, and even critics. The CDA, if it's, they do a, a good job, hopefully they will clean the city and make it even more and more uh, uh, beautiful. All the time. Uh, there are a lot of flowers here. Winter is very nice because uh, it's, it's warm and at the winter time it's like really good. It's not too cold and not too hot. Green city? Green, yeah. Everywhere is green. I like. Uh, I like Islamabad because uh, Islamabad is very uh, green city and weather is very nice uh, and food is very nice. I like Islamabad. The best thing in Islamabad that I like is the people. A Greek firm of architects, Constantinos Apostolos Oxidias, designed the master plan of the city with its apex towards the Margla Hills. Since then, CDA has kept it intact. It has been divided into different zones and sectors each with a distinction of its own splendor. Each day, the golden sunshine travels through the blue skies to meet the numerous shades of green in the city. The area of Islamabad is 906.50 square kilometers. Less than 25% of it is classified as urban area. Almost 25% has been dedicated to parks, whereas the rest, 50%, is classified as rural area. There's a policy for environment at CDA. If cutting of trees becomes inevitable for development, CDA plans to plant four more trees to compensate for that, to keep Islamabad sparkling with colors of Mother Nature. Islamabad has the highest literacy rate in Pakistan at 88%. This is due to the fact that it houses some of the most advanced educational institutions. The sector H of Islamabad can be classified as an education city with sprawling campuses of leading universities where students from around the country and even around the world come to study. With a healthy environment, Islamabad has a solid health infrastructure. It has multiple hospitals, both from the public and private sector, competing with each other in health excellence. People from across Pakistan come to Islamabad for treatment. 
the city has a healing power of its own that naturally treats any mood swings. Parks, clubs, malls, cinemas, sports facilities, restaurants, hotels, thrilling rides, graceful events, sights, and sounds, along with the mesmerizing climate of the Four Seasons, each with its own color and excitement that keeps the life of Islamabad a beautiful life. This century is defined by speed, the metro rapid transport system, wide roads and now the underdevelopment Islamabad signal free corridor will ensure that the city keeps flowing with all its exquisiteness and class. The city offers an ideal mix of serenity, academic excellence, human resource, technology infrastructure, and macroeconomic indicators. With Pakistan's economic corridor gradually reaching its logical end, Islamabad will be a regional economic hub for visionaries, professionals, and skillful human resource, not only from Pakistan, but the entire world. The future of Islamabad looks as green as the city and as golden as the sunshine that touch the city every day. Capital Development Authority will ensure that the city is always mentioned as one of the best cities of the world, everywhere in the world.